The St. Lawrence Seaway is a shipping canal where ships come inland and load up goods and take it out to the Atlantic Ocean to take it to other countries. They can also import stuff from other countries into Canada using the St. Lawrence Seaway. Because the Great Lakes are at different levels, we have to have a series of canals and locks to raise and lower the boats to get them to the right height for each of the Great Lakes. The Niagara Falls area has to have a series of seven locks to get to the height of Niagara Falls. Lock number seven that we show in this video is part of that. The Great Lakes is one of our major shipping routes in Canada to get goods from Thunder Bay in Ontario, Duluth in Minnesota, U.S., all the way out to the Atlantic Ocean in the Maritimes. And from there, it can go to any country in the world. Okay, dear, just... Okay, go by, dear. So they go there and back too? Well, yeah. Huh? The ship's going both ways. Once the ship goes to China or Europe or someone drops a boat and comes back. Okay. Did you go down with it? Huh? So The lock in this video shows a ship going through Niagara Region Lock 7. A lock is a section of a canal that has closing doors on each end. A ship enters the lock. Water is either added to raise the ship or removed to lower the ship to reach the desired level of the lake the ship is entering. Lock 7 is part of the lock system between Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. This lock is 233 meters long, 23.8 meters wide, 9.14 meters deep. Lock 7 in this video is one of the locks to get ships past Niagara Falls. The St. Lawrence Seaway is 600 kilometers long from the Atlantic Ocean to Duluth, Minnesota. This inland seaway is a combination of locks, canals, channels joining the Great Lakes. Parts of the St. Lawrence Seaway are the Canadian-U.S. border.
this is the canal. The last part of this video shows a road bridge that lifts the entire road up to let the ships pass under. Yeah. 